Welcome everyone to the exercise number 6C which uh, covers the thematic uh, or the theme of mapping density and this uh, we have now um, a seventh um, map in our atlas here which is called population density and what we have is another um, or we would like to represent the population density by using first of all the population in the year 2000 but also the area which is given in square kilometers here. So how to do that uh, in, uh, in later on videos I will show you how to create new a new attribute which will maybe or which can cover something like a value of people or 100 people per square kilometer but in the in this video I would like to show you how to do it um, only by using the layer properties so double click oh no we will go into the data view first of all so double click on countries and what you already know is that there is a possibility to use quantities uh, to represent colors uh, uh, to represent values in our case we will use uh, the same, also graduate uh, colors, but not only the population uh, of uh, in the year 2000, but we will use some kind of normalization. You can have a look in the in the help file for that uh, to get an idea. Oh, well, it's not responding in my case. So what we will do is we will normalize it by kilometers. So now we have. Um, the less dense populated areas given by green color which is here probably one people per square kilometer and here it is something like 270 people per square kilometer in the whole area of the country so there's no differentiation in in the in in between the countries and what we can see is that there are spots where you have a high density and there are spots with low densities. We will adjust it by using more number of classes maybe. Go to 7. So you get in a better idea about the population density. Another possibility to um, visualize that is the case of these um, dotted uh, symbols or dot density as we have learned in the exercise number 6a I was giving a sneak insight into that so what we will do is um, we will use the population in the year 2000 we will adjust that to the uh, used files and here you can see what uh, are the dot sizes so you can increase the dot sizes you can decrease the dot sizes. We will stick with the two. And you can adjust the dot values. So each dot representing now 380,000 people. In this case, 190,000. And in this, only 150,000. So here you can adjust the visibility of dots. And we will adjust it until, um, well, let's say 30,000, something like that and what we also adjust is the background so we will use no background color okay so let's go further what we are having here is that the population density is given by a symbol which is quite oh, which has a bad color so we'll will uh, adjust this to black. Now you have, or now you can see uh, something like a visualization of the density given by the whole country. So there is no, um, there are no borders drawn between the polygons in the country file. So once again, go here. You can adjust the color, uh, uh, the pointer si uh, pointer color to the color scheme you like most. most. No, no, these are too big. This was set to 18. It should be something like 4 or something. 
there you go. So now each point is representing a value of 300,000 inhabitants. You can see that there are um, areas where you have low densities and areas where you have high densities around Egypt, Nigeria, Rwanda and so on. Thank you for watching this very short tutorial and stay tuned for the exercise number 6D which will cover the um, um, concept of using graduated and chart symbols for representation. Thank you very much.